All right, so yesterday I cut up the Tahoe, built that little frame right there. Now I just gotta cut me up some legs, one on each corner, maybe a little cross brace. Weld it right to the frame, and these batteries should fit in here, a couple inches below the surface, completely out of the way. Couple legs cut, couple extra braces, getting ready to weld them up. Something like that. Alright, here goes nothing. Time to make it permanent. As if the hole didn't already do that. We'll go with the rust-oleum hammered look just for a quick little something to get that raw metal look away from it and we're ready to drop batteries down. All the batteries are in. Everything's solid. Move the critical stuff out of the way just got to make some bus bars and a little lid and it'll be all good for those people complaining that I 
messed with the integrity of the back. I think the frame I just welded on there took care of that. Besides, the only thing that was cut was the body, not the frame. So don't worry about it. Anyways, check this out. Had some people wondering why I actually cut a hole for a battery rack. But when you got a roll pan, everything shows. So I had to bring it up a little higher. And now as you can see, you can't see anything unless you crawl underneath the car. <laughs> 